it is October 6th, and it is freezing. I think fall's pretty much over here in Utah. Hopefully we get a couple more nice days. I want to uh, go out and hit the corn maze and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, but since autumn draws to a close pretty early, I uh, thought I would uh, take the opportunity now to tell you some Halloween stories. <laughs> There's this thing called trunk or treat. I'm sure they do this everywhere, but I just heard about this where um instead of uh people handing out candy at their houses at night, everyone goes everyone in the neighborhood goes to like a parking lot, a grocery store parking lot, and the kids go from car to car and get candy. Which I think is not a good way to keep kids from getting into murder cars with murderers. Who have, isn't that the first thing that you learn when your mom lets you play in the yard unsupervised? She says, if someone drives up and says, hey, I have candy in my car, come get in the candy car. I think that, and you know who probably came up with this the whole trunk or treat? Ironically, it was probably the neighborhood watch. <laughs> One year, uh, I went trick-or-treating around here um, as uh, the devil, and I just I picked it because it was I found this cool mask. It was a a rubber mask with um, LED lights that blinked in the eyes, and I thought it was pretty cool. So I'm going from door to door, and everybody's like, "Oh, we don't like that." Oh. And they they didn't want to give me candy because they thought I was satanic. I was a kid. I was 15.